If you've ever asked yourself, can you short sell an investment property? You've come to the right place. Hi, my name is Don Thornson. I'm known as Don the Short Sale Guy because I've helped well over 2,000 homeowners get out from under a foreclosure, uh, upside down house, and save their credit. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about why it's possible to uh, short sale an investment property. I'll deal. I'll tell you about the challenges that come with uh, investment properties that have tenants in them, and the worst case scenario. What happens when you have squatters that move in into investment property? So. Is it possible? Absolutely it is. We have done so many uh, investment property short sales for investors. I tell you, back in, in the Great Recession from 2007, I think, until maybe 2012, 13, at least half, if not more, of the houses that we were doing short sales on were for investors. Because you remember back in the day when the market was sizzling hot like it was, like it is now, you had, I mean, if you ever watched the movie The Big Short, that really tells you what it was like uh, there this is one scene that i love over this this uh stripper and you know she had like i don't know seven or or ten investment properties she'd never seen and obviously she couldn't qualify for them but because there were so many liar loans out there which was no income no asset uh just go by your credit score that you know she had all these properties that there's no way in the world you know she should you know she should have had those properties i mean i've i've talk to homeowners that had 30, 40 investment properties they were losing to foreclosure because they got they got they got caught, right? So um, yes, uh, it is possible. And actually as I've you know I've been doing this for 20 years, I'm seeing the last four or five years, it's actually gotten easier to uh, to short sell investment properties. So in a word, yes, you can definitely short sell your investment property. What you can also definitely do is go to the corner over here and click subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. As you, if you're on my channel and you're, on my, you're watching this video, you know that I, uh, you know, you're obviously interested in this topic. So um, go ahead and subscribe. So the challenge that comes with uh, short selling an investment property is if it's tenant occupied. So you have two challenges with this. One is if there's a lease. And the lease is good, you know, you have that the lease is going to go for at least another, let's say six to eight to 10, 12 months. Uh, the lease stays with the house, not with the owner. So the incoming buyer would have to honor that lease, which basically reduces the pool of potential buyers that want to put a contract in because we have a lot of people that want to live in the property and they're just going to say, well, we can't, we got to move on because we don't want to wait out a tenant for six months. So that's that, that can be an issue. The, the more challenging part of it is, is that in a short sale, especially at the beginning of the, of the process, phase one, as we call it, where you have to list the property and market it and get the property shown, a lot of tenants are basically indifferent about the challenges that we face with making a good impression with the bank's negotiator by showing that we're making a good faith effort to market the property and get them the highest possible price. For them, it's an inconvenience and they have no motivation whatsoever. So that's really a big challenge is showing the property consistently. Another, another challenge is whether they're going to leave, you know, when the prop, when it's time to go. So uh, if it's, if they're on a month to month, that's great. But then you still have the challenge of, okay, we've got this ready to go. They need to get going. And they may say, well, we need some money and who's going to pay us to get out all these kind of things come together that make, make that a real challenge when you're dealing with a tenant occupied investment property. So I would love it if you would uh, go down to the comments section, and, you know, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Have you had any experience with this before? Do you have any questions? Do you wanna suggest a video that uh, you'd like for me to do? Either way, I'd love comments. I wanna engage with all my viewers, okay? Uh, the, um, What's worse than a tenant occupied investment property is when the squatters come in. And that's what happens a lot when, uh, if you're in between tenants, for example, the, there's some professional, well-educated squatters out there and they're always on the lookout for a property that's vacant and they will just dive in there and they'll put the utilities in their name because they know they have a certain small window where if the homeowner uh, notices that someone's moved in that they can go ahead and get the cops involved and get them out because that's a trespassing issue. But if they establish residency 
and then becomes a civil issue and the cops won't help you and you have to do an eviction and that could be you know i've spent two three thousand dollars sometimes on on getting squatters out so or what i'll do is i'll just say look you're here illegally we know that i'm gonna evict your ass and uh here's here's fifteen hundred dollars if you leave now or ten thousand dollars now it's gonna cost me the same amount of money to pay an attorney and why don't you just take it and go on to your next victim? That seems to be a, a, a tactic that works per, nicely, but you got to have the money up front to be able to get them out. So that is really an issue with investment properties. But nevertheless, they're doable and we do a lot of them. So if you're a homeowner and you're in a situation where you need a short sale and it's investment property or not even investment property, just a regular property, just no problem. Reach out to us. In the um, description is my phone number. And also there's a link there, donbuyshouses.now.site. You can go in there and check everything out. Every page of my website has a form. Just click on it uh, or fill out the name, address, email address, and your phone number. Click on it. I'll get notified. We'll reach out. We can talk and I'll go over all your questions. Make sure that you feel 100% satisfied. That this is the right, this is the right um, uh, decision for you. And we'll get it going for you. And if you're a real estate investor, geez, you should be working with us. I mean, uh, if you find an upside down property that the homeowner needs to sell, there's no way you're gonna be able to monetize that yourself. So joint venture with us. We, we can, uh, we'll, we'll do all the heavy lifting for you and you can have a really nice income stream out of that. And if you're a real estate agent, boy, I tell you what, we've got an amazing offer for you. You can become a, a short sale agent. You can gladly take any referrals from any of your colleagues who don't want to do a short sale because you'll have us behind you. We'll do the negotiations for you. We'll work, we'll deal with the buyer's agents. We'll get the discounts. We'll advise you on everything needs to be done. So basically it's almost a hands-off experience for you. And all we ask in return is 25% of your commission. That's it. There's no better deal out there. So again, go down, reach out to us. Our phone number is there and we'd glad to talk to you. So uh, I want to thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Thank you.